Howdy everyone! Today we're going to be making Borax Crystals, an ornament for your holiday season, but with a little sea camp twist to them. So we're going to be using Borax, which you can find in the detergent aisle of your grocery store. And using Borax, we actually can create a physical um, change in the Borax solution. So Borax is a powder in a powder form, and what we're going to do is we're going to use boiling water and this boiling water is going to be able to dissolve this borax powder and when it reforms and the water cools, it's going to turn into crystals. So what you're going to need today is you're going to need some borax. Like I said, you can find it in the detergent aisle of your grocery store. You're going to need some pipe cleaners. You can cut them and if you do cut them, um, you want to use dull scissors. That way you don't ruin a perfectly good pair of scissors. You're going to need a paper clip or string you're gonna need some clear glasses. Um, these need to be disposable glasses. You can use um, plastic or, um, or any kind of disposable uh, cup that you can find. Um, try not to use the ones from your kitchen. Um, I even used a water bottle that I cut open so I can reduce and reuse uh, and recycle. And uh, you're gonna need, uh, going to need a disposable uh, stirring device. Um, some pencils that you don't really like anymore or a marker um, and optional food dye. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our pipe cleaners and our pipe cleaners are basically going to have a surface for our borax to crystallize for those crystals to form onto the borax. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a snowflake. I cut three strands of pipe cleaners about two inches long and I'm going to fold them over one over the other. And I'm going to give them a twist. And since it's pipe cleaners, they stay together. So an extra little twist might work better. Um, and so I'm going to make an X with my pipe cleaners. And even as I could get them, I didn't do a very good job. Um, next, I'm going to take the third pipe cleaner and I'm going to twist that as well. I'm going to loop it across and give it a twist. And I want mine to kind of look like a snowflake. So I'm going to twist it a little bit and make it look like a snowflake. Now you can make it flat or you can make it 3D, whichever you like. So once you have your snowflake, remember this is what the crystals are going to form onto. You're going to take a paper clip and I use this because I thought it would be a little bit better to go on a, a tree, but the string might work a little bit better because the string, um, the crystals will go up the string as long as it's in our solution. So you can use a paper clip, um, which is I'm going to use because I think that's a really great way to hang it on a tree. And I'm going to kind of do my own little test experiment to see if that works out better. And I'm going to unfold that paper clip and I'm going to attach my snowflake by twisting the middle part of that pipe cleaner onto that snowflake. So this is how my snowflake is going to fit on the tree. Now, you always wanna do a test of your snowflake to make sure it fits in your cup or apparatus, kind of a trial experiment, because what we wanna make sure is that our whole snowflake is submerged. So we take our pencil and we hook it on, that's what the purpose of this is, and mine's a little bit too long. So what I need to do is I need to bend this back and have my snowflake on my pencil to where it's suspended. It's not touching any of the, the sides of my cup. So now that I've got that, I've got two other ones that I've made. I've made an angler fish and I've made a narwhal. And so my narwhal is the one that I have to use my, um, my new design from a water bottle because I got a little bit too ambitious and made it too big. So you wanna keep them small. Um, another optional thing, if you want them colored, you can use food dye or food coloring to, to get a really cool color on them, or you can start with a colored pipe cleaner, but the borax crystals will cover, ideally, the whole surface of those pipe cleaners. For this one, I'm gonna have to use a little bit more, right? Once we have tested to make sure that it is, can be completely submerged with water, we're going to add our borax to the solution. Anytime you're working with boiling water, you wanna make sure that you have parent supervision. So I want you to raise up your right hand and repeat after me. I solemnly swear 
then I will get a parent's help. Because boiling water is hot. And I don't want to burn myself. This I swear? Or may I grow a third big toe on my face? All right, you promise. So make sure you get a parent's help whenever you're doing this. Now, you're going to take your borax solution, and I poured it into a, um, a little side cup. That way I can easily get to that borax. And what you're going to do is you're going to need about um, two to three tablespoons, so I have my tablespoon measuring cup, um, per cup of water. So um, for my snowflake, I'm gonna need a little bit less, so I'm only gonna do two, uh, as for my angler fish as well, but for my narwhal, I'm going to put three in there. So we're going to be able to fill up, I'm gonna put two of those tablespoons in our solution. Now we're going to take our boiling water, and like I said, I used an electric kettle, and we're going to pour that water into the cup. Now remember that hot water, whenever I put that borax in there and that hot water, the borax is now dissolved. You can kind of see I have cloudy water, but you can't see that powder anymore. As that borax solution cools, those crystals are going to be able to form onto a hard surface. So we're going to take our beautiful snowflake, we're gonna drop it in the water, make sure it's not touching any of the sides, completely submerged, and we're going to wait and watch for 24 hours. That's why we have our clear liquid, our, our clear glass, right? We wanna make sure that we're gonna be able to see it. So you can use a mason jar, you can use a clear plastic like I did, or a cup that um, can be re, um, disposed of, um, but you can use all of that. See how clear that water got? Now, if you want, you can add a color. So we have different color options here. I want my snowflake to be white, but for my anglerfish, I think I want my anglerfish to be blue. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put my borax solution into the cup. That was a little short on that one. All right, let me test that anglerfish really quickly. Bend it a little. Grab my pencil. Oh, beautiful, that worked perfectly. Okay, and now I'm going to pour in that water. Dissolving that solution. Now, if you have any pets that will jump on the counter or anything, I would make sure to put this in a spot where your pets can't get to, right? We don't want them to try to eat any of this. Or young children or anything like that. Or it should not be consumed. We do not want to eat this stuff. It is gross. So we're going to put some food coloring in this anglerfish one. We're gonna go, we're gonna go blue on it. So I'm only gonna put two or three drops of dye in there. You don't want to get crazy with it. <clears throat> and I'm going to stir that around. Make some pretty blue water. And then drop my anglerfish down. So you can make any design you want. That's our sea camp spin on that. We want to make sure that we can represent our deep sea creatures and our Arctic and Antarctic animals that we're going to be learning about this week in Sea Camp Connection. So I hope you guys enjoy. Keep these overnight for about 24 hours, and then you're going to be able to show us in the footprint this week. I hope you guys enjoy, and I can't wait to see your creations.